vintage lovers. I say that with enthusiasm because I am excited about the items I'm going to show you today. Um, it has been, as everybody probably knows, ridiculously hot here in Texas. Record-breaking heat, um, 100 degree plus, 110 and lower, you know, just it's just been brutal, especially in a house with no central air. But we knew that when we bought this old house and we're adjusting to it. But um, gosh, it's been crazy. So there really haven't been any garage sales due to the heat. Um, there was an indoor garage sale that I found, but um, I only got two things there. I made some friends though, which is always cool. But the rest of these I got from three different kind of local junk shops, thrift shops, um, whatever you want to call them. And I was excited to do so. Um, you know, it's just too hot for people to want to set up outside and I totally get it. So I decided instead of, you know, driving to an antique mall to actually shop local and support some of these small businesses because they obviously look at all this, they had some good stuff. Um, so Without any further ado, let me show you guys everything I got. Um, we will start over here with this beautiful depression glass. This is pink. I'm not sure how it's coming across because it's on a brown table. Um, this is Anchor Hawking. I am not quite sure of the name of the design of this, but it's this gorgeous three-footed um, bowl. Here is the bottom. There is no damage to this at all. It's absolutely gorgeous. When I find unique pieces like this that I don't come across very often, I always get them if they're at a good price, especially pink, because I know a lot of people collect the pink. Um, then this, you know, it's not vintage, but I just thought it was beautiful. Um, it is this plaque with um, this gorgeous bird here. This is my song, Praising My Savior All the Day Long. Uh, with the musical notes there, but I just thought this was really pretty. I don't even remember if there's anything on the back. There's not, but there is a hook um, or a hanger there for you to put it on the wall. Um, oh, I just noticed there's two birds. There's this other pretty bird. I don't know what they are, but they're beautiful. I just thought this was really sweet and picked it up. Okay, so over here, I mean, am I ever going to turn down something like this? No, I'm not. I already have a couple of owl napkin holders, so this one will go up for sale. Um, I'm sure he's made in Japan. He's not marked anywhere, but that's what he looks like to me. He is in excellent condition. That's just like a little bit of uh, extra paint right there, I believe. I haven't really cleaned everything here, so I do apologize. You know what? looks like there's a tiny chip there on the edge of his horn, but it's not visible from the front. But I mean, I, I can't him behind because look at his flower eyes he's so cute okay and then next to him I got this little um, porcelain purse I don't know anything about it I don't know who made it but I thought it was just really cute it's just a little you know trinket to put on your vanity or whatever you could put maybe a small air plant in there too um, or a Sabrina would say a frozen Charlotte maybe a little one would fit in there that would be really cute um, but it has these different colored roses. I just thought it was adorable, so I picked it up. Then I got this really pretty bud vase. Um, this is, it's got this optic swirl to it. And it's like a brown, almost, almost amber color. Looks like it's probably showing through as more of a green, but it actually is brown. Um, there is a little bit of hard water sting there up top, and I'm going to try to get rid of it. I haven't had a chance yet. Um, here is the bottom. Not quite sure what that said at one point. Can we make it out? I can't make it out, but it's beautiful. I love it. I love this. It's so pretty. I found some more tunnel, y'all. So I got this quail. Um, he is signed by the artist. Here is the back. Beautiful. I love the way they did the feathers on this one. Then, of course, you have a flower there. Here's his cute little face. Um, he's got some flowers on the front. And here is the artist's signature, which, of course, I cannot make out. But um, he's so cute. 
I love him. So whenever I see Tonala that I can afford, I always pick it up. He's so freaking adorable. Everybody still loves Mexican pottery. Then I got this perfume bottle. I have not researched it. I just thought it was interesting. Um, obviously, it's satin glass. It's got this, um, let's see, there's no marking on it. Well, there's a number on it, actually. 18, it looks like. Um, so, <laughs> there goes the stopper. Here's the stopper I wanted to show you. It's really interesting. I think it's a cool little bottle. Um, you know, of course, you could use it uh, for perfume, but I think if you collect bottles, I think that's kind of cool, too. I love the top. Um, then next to that, I got this pair of hand-carved wooden ducks. They're really cute. I don't know who made them, but they're precious. They're, they'll be sold as a pair because don't you think they belong together? I do. Really pretty. They definitely, you know, look vintage. Um, so back here, this is how she came. Um, I picked up this gorgeous Mary figurine. She is bisque um, and she is carrying um, Jesus. And I'm going to hold it like this because um, it looks like she was glued in there, but she's a little bit loose. So I need to kind of reattach her, but I am going to sell her in here because I think that's how she was meant to be sold. Um, I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love this Mary. Um, you guys know how much I love picking these up. Uh, she's just stunning. Beautiful. That's Rocky. He agrees. Then I got this. This is so freaking cool. This is a Jim Beam decanter, and it's obviously a tiki. Um, let me go over it. 1974. It's so freaking cool, y'all. Um, this is ceramic. I'm not going to try to open it right now. But it is freaking awesome. It reminds me of Treasure Craft so much, and I'm very curious um, if it is. I, don't, I looked at the bottom, and I don't think I saw that it was, but doesn't this look like Treasure Craft to y'all? Oh, I can't see it. You guys probably can. I just got the notification. Device is too hot. Recording quality may be poor. United Airlines. Very interesting. I'm going to have to research this one, guys. But isn't that amazing? It's so cool. I love tiki's. I know there are a lot of tiki collectors out there, so had to get that. Now, why did I pass over this? So I got a couple of copper pieces. This one I did comp when I was in the store. I got this one at the thrift store. So this is um, a ceramic teapot, coffee pot, whatever pot you want it to be. Um, it's got a little dirt right there. But what is so cool about this is it has this copper cover that goes over it and it's just you know ceramic here on the inside there's a little bit there on the inside um, you know, get back out again with one hand but um hang on we're gonna try it right there doesn't affect anything um, you'll never see it but um comps on these on ebay were pretty high like 40 50 dollars um this is the first one i've ever seen it's definitely vintage um it is so cool it obviously has a lot of patina needs to be polished but i just thought this was freaking amazing in all my years of of doing this i've never seen um a coffee pot like this oh and i forgot to show you let me show you the inside it's got like this foam covering um so it doesn't damage the ceramic underneath isn't that cool love it okay did y'all see that power flicker yeah it's been happening i don't know how long the texas power grid is going to be able to keep up with demand okay so this one needs to be cleaned as well but i wanted to show it now um it is another really pretty um coffee teapot that's what i'm gonna call them it does have um this beautiful ceramic detailing on it again it's just very dirty but it's in really good condition um, I'm gonna clean this up as best I can it's beautiful I love these and I'm pretty sure it's gonna say made in India on the bottom oh made in Taiwan okay we'll take that too obviously it's vintage um, okay then I found this gorgeous gorgeous 
gorgeous face. It's going to kind of be hard to show, but this is blue and green. Um, it's an art glass face. Um, first of all, I love the shape. It's kind of bulbous at the bottom. Um, but when you put this in a window or in the light, y'all, it is stunning. Again, it's kind of hard to see, and it says my video quality is not good right now. But the colors on this vase are just gorgeous. I do not know the manufacturer. I don't know if it's a studio piece or not. I just saw it, and I was like, that is stunning. Um, so I picked that up. Then I got this butter dish, which I think is adorable. Um, it has these sheep on it. It doesn't have a maker, so I'm gonna have to maybe research it a little bit more. Here is the bottom. Um, these are transfer, I believe. It doesn't look like it's hand painted. It's not, but it's adorable. So cute. You have one one sheep on one side, or goat, I'm sorry. And then on the other side, you have three sheep. Am I right about that? <laughs> Yes. No, that's a sheep too. Y'all, this heat is messing with my brain. I'm not kidding you. I just, ah, oh, it's too much. <laughs> oh, don't you love it when you crack yourself up? Okay. Who remembers my buddy? Who knows that my buddy was the inspiration for the horror films? Chucky. Um, so I found this coloring book from 1986 and... <laughs> I haven't comped it yet, but how freaking cute is this, y'all? I have a feeling these may be collectible. I know that the actual doll is very collectible, um, but this coloring book may be as well because it's, it's in perfect condition, hasn't been uh, drawn on or colored or anything like that. Um, so if you got that, then I got this. Um, I was digging for this one. So one of the thrift shops here, it doesn't have AC and it's just kind of open. And there's a lot of books in there. And I just happened, to see, I think I saw that. And I was like, what? I have to see this. So this is doily craft. And it tells you how to make these girl doilies. I know everybody has seen them. This, even if you don't want to use this for crafting, you know, to learn how to make these, these illustrations are just amazing. Look at this. Look at the doilies there. I mean, this house is just full of doilies. <clears throat> it's a granny's fantasy to have that many. Look at that. Um, anyway, I just thought this was super cute. Look at that arrangement there. Um, FYI, if you're looking for doilies, I have quite a bit, and they're going to be coming to a live sale soon. There is a little rip there on the back, but that doesn't affect anything. Plastic Craft Incorporated. Leo Minster Mass. If anybody knows where that is, put it in the comments, because I've been to Massachusetts, but I don't know that place. Okay, now on to the jewelry. Rocky's excited for the jewelry, too. Oh, I did get... Um, this set of cast iron skeleton keys. I always get these when I see them. People are always interested in them. Um, so there are those. Love, love, love. Okay, then I got these clip-ons. These are gorgeous. These are Emmons, which is a very nice vintage brand. And they are in very good condition. There's a little bit of wear um, on one of them. With a little bit of discoloration. Now I can't even see it. Um, this is glass, and this, I'm going to put it down so we can focus it better. There you go. Are these not beautiful? Um, and it is marked Emmons on the back. It's probably not going to show. See, that is sweat on my hands. I'm so ready for fall, y'all. I think everybody is. Gorgeous. You can easily get a converter to make, um, you, you know, to wear these as pierced if you wanted to. Um, I just think they're beautiful. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. Who doesn't love diamonds and gold? Okay. Who doesn't love a beautiful metal enamel flower brooch? Um, this one is gorgeous. This is perfect for fall, y'all. Um, these browns and rust colors. I don't believe this one was marked. I don't think I see a marking. Um, but it is in excellent condition. Always, always get these. 
um, if you're a reseller. People collect them and people adore them. Okay, then I got this copper gear brooch. Um, this is fantastic. I collect copper jewelry. Not 100% sure if I'm keeping this one or not. Um, if I keep anything on this table, it's probably going to be this. I always like to tell y'all. Um, then I got this butterfly, which is so cool. He is like, um, he's a leather. He is signed there or marked there. X8, not quite sure what that means. But how cool is this butterfly? I love it. It reminds me of Jane. I love you, Jane, if you're watching this. Um, then I got this beautiful brooch. Um, I believe this is bone. I haven't checked it yet to make sure. But it's this gorgeous swan or, or peacock. Um, here is the backing on it. Beautiful. Love it. I always get these when I see them. Then got, okay, I was so disappointed, so I grabbed her. I was like, oh my gosh, look at this Art Nouveau brooch. That's Loretta crying for Rick. Let me comfort her. I will be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Rick is outside working on one of our aquariums. Um, anyway, so this is actually a button cover, but it's this gorgeous Art Nouveau lady. Well, hi, Ash. Please don't knock over the glass. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, baby girl? Hi, you wanna be seen? I think you do. Um, anyway, this is a button cover. Now, of course, you could still convert this into a pendant or a brooch if you wanted to. Um, when I found this, it was in one of the little shops here in town and uh, the owner was like, oh my gosh, I have a whole set of them. And I was like, what? And they, they had been sold and he didn't realize that somehow this one was left extra. I still picked her up anyway because she's beautiful and, you know, I'm not going to pass on something like that. Okay, there's a lot of commotion today, isn't there? Then I got these finials, y'all. These are vintage brass pineapple finials. They're amazing. They only had two, and I love them. So I'm so glad I got those. Very, very cool. This is very on trend right now, brass in general, but pineapples and things like this. You could, of course, put them on a lamp. You could do whatever you want with those. I love them. Then I got this ring. So this is sterling silver. And I'm not quite sure on the stones. I have not tested this um, with my Presidium yet but it is also marked 925 there on the back. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. So it's pinks and reds. Hopefully that's coming through. Um, I think it's a size seven or eight. Then here I got these just because I thought they were cool. They are costume, I believe. They could be brass, um, but these are like barbed wire earrings. At least that's what I'm gonna call them. Um, obviously they're for pierced ears. They're really, really cool. Um, so I picked those up. They kind of go with this. Um, I got this really cool um, belt buckle shaped like a horseshoe. This one is not marked anywhere, but I love it. Of course, I'm gonna find things like this here in East Texas. Then I got this one. This one is probably my favorite of the two. It's very detailed. Um, it's silver and gold tone. And it does still have its sticker here on the back. It's silver plate. And the brand is Kumrine. Kumrine. There we go. Um, anyway, this one is so cool. Look at all the detailing. The etching is just really pretty on that. I love that. Um, then I picked up this. Um, this is a shorter necklace. It's more like a choker but it has um, an, an arrowhead here. And these beads are probably um, just costume. That's what it looks like to me. Um, it looks like it was a homemade piece. Um, the, cl the clasp was like a wire right there. Um, I got it though because of this arrowhead. I mean, I'm just fascinated by everything Native American and I thought this was really cool. So I got that. And then the last thing I got is this Gorgeous cross pendant. Um, as you can see, it's kind of amber colored. 
um, some darker amber in the middle. This is definitely over three inches. I would say probably four. I don't remember if it's marked or not. I don't see a marking on it. Um, it's in excellent condition. It is just stunning. So we're going to end it on that. Um, this video will probably come out on Monday. Um, what would that be? The 29th? And um, on that day, I will be having a live sale with Jane Newhouse, a.k.a. Doggone Happy Vintage, on her channel. And that sale is at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. So I hope to see you guys then. Um, if you're ever interested in something, I say this in every video, you can reach out to me if you see something you like in this haul. Um, or if you go back and watch any of my sales, or a few of you that do, and thank you so much for doing that. Welcome to all my new subscribers. It seems like every time I put out a video, there's more of you, so welcome. And please, as always, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment. It really does help my channel grow. Okay, guys, everybody stay safe and cool. Love ya.